The Jump Total War here, and today we've got a seven year disaster battle playing as the Dark Elves going up against Alithanar. So, this is a really tough situation because we're defending a settlement so we can't withdraw, and Alithanar has brought really one of the best anti Dark Elf killing machines ever uh, the Shadow Walkers. These are pretty much just as good as Sisters of Avalon. And uh, they stalk, and they're just really difficult for us to deal with, especially with a basic army like this. Like, it's not a bad army by any means, it's just that this is way better. Uh, I think what makes this even more troublesome is that the heroes are so badly damaged, uh, except for her. That's what's really hurting us in this one. Anyway, we'll jump in there and we'll do the best we can. So, sometimes in the emails people tell me, you know, what plans they have, or what they think is effective, or what they've tried. And sometimes, you know, they're just like, no, that's not the right way to go about it. And then occasionally, as in the case here, sometimes they're absolutely spot on. So what the guy said in the email is that he put all of his troops in the corner over here, right, to, uh, to hide them. And then just use them to, uh, to waste the enemy ammo. But the problem is he just couldn't keep them alive long enough to waste all of the ammo. That is the correct strategy here. Nothing else will work. There is no scenario in where this army here will just out-micro that other army. It will not happen. They're better archers, they're better in melee, they're faster, they're hidden. It's not possible. Zero percent chance. It will not happen. The only way is to take away one of their advantages, that being their ammo. Once they're out of ammo, then you can shred them because they don't have much armor and the dark shards, you know, they slaughter. The problem is range and... Uh, yeah, the biggest problem is just range, like 125 versus 180, you, you got to get in so much closer, they've thrown in three volleys before you get there, they're all just dead. Alright, so, these two will stand over here, and you'll stand here, okay. So what we want to do is make sure they just shoot at this death hag here, while these two just stand behind here and just don't get shot. I don't think the death hag is going to live long enough to waste all of the ammo, but I'll do what I can. Now, in terms of magic, I could send the wizard out to cast spells early, but she is very micro-intensive, but also, when we do any damage to them, it'll change their strategies up slightly, and they might start acting even more aggressively, so it might be best to just hold off on it. And at the end of the day, we're probably not going to be able to inflict that much damage anyway, because they do tend to go into a fairly loose formation. But I'll see what I can do. If we could try to get them into a blob as much as possible, when she's exhausted, and then throw in a firestorm or whatever. We obviously cannot be overcasting anything. One miscast and she's just gone. Anyway, we'll do the best we can. So these two just stay back here. Rest of our army is hidden. And there's the shots. Okay. Now the main thing here, the most important thing, is that their entire army just focus on one unit at a time. If they, for example, sent a like three units over to try and shoot at Malekith and the and the wizard, we're boned. I can't micromanage uh, dodging two loads of units at a time. It's too difficult. Not with this many shots coming in. So far, I don't think a single shot's landed. If we can use slight elevations as well, or even obstructions, that'd be quite handy. Also, the snow kind of makes it hard to see their shots coming in. I mean, I can see them. But it's easier to see if it was grass. There's Lithana, popping his shots down. Oh, and it does a lot of damage too. Definitely can't be doing this on three times speed. I have to keep an eye on this and know exactly when to move. And as more of them show up, it's going to get harder and harder to dodge. You definitely don't do that. There's a slight elevation here which helps us out a little bit. Oh, it would have been so good if we had a potion of healing. This is going pretty well so far. We really haven't been taking too much damage. And I think the entire army is shooting at us. Yes! Going! Slaughter awaits! 
There's a slight elevation here in the... And just units in general, whether player controlled or AI, are really bad at predicting the movements of units that are in elevation. No! No, we're getting shot over here. See what happens? I, I can't micro all of that at once. She's getting shot, but I can't keep an eye on it. I, don't, I can't see what's going on. Oh, it's Alithanar doing it. Um, ah, oh, shit. I can't pause it because it's legendary difficulty. I can't, I can't be doing that. Because I turned my back on this for a second, we lost a thousand health. Malekith is taking damage, but it's happening very... Ah, fucking Alithana. I can't hide him. You know what? We just have to suck it up. I can't dodge with Malekith as well. And only one is shooting at Malekith. Because this is working here, apart from this. This is not going after the wizard, because that's actually kind of more important than Malekith right now. God, every shot that hits does so much damage. Another thing as well is that once some of their units have run out of ammo, they're going to start charging in on us. So it would be good if all of their ammo was being wasted at the same time, but because of what's going on over there, that's not going to happen. But I have a plan for that. So Malekith is taking damage. I just can't do anything about that, but he might looks like he might actually be able to tank all of the, his shots. He's just not really taking that much damage. Man, this is actually going really well. This dog shit of the situation. And 10 minutes of cheese. I can't stand this. Man, there's no other way to win this. Okay, no other way. If you want to watch someone lose, that's totally fine. But I'm here to win. That's what people send me to say file in. They're like, hey legend, could you please lose me this battle? I wasn't looking to win this campaign. Sure, man, I'll lose this honorably for you. No, it's usually not the title of this. It's usually like, help me, please. Help me, Cheese Master. Help me. I don't care what you have to do. Cheese the shit out of this situation and save my campaign. No worries, bro. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, bro. Yeah, see, now they're coming in. Alright, let's lure them around this way. That was a good spot, but it seems like we gotta try and stay away from these units here as much as possible. Listen, are still being a douche. We aren't gonna last much longer. What will this do? Give us any leadership? No. She needs to stay away from them because uh, she just gets scared due to their numbers. Quite a few of them have had their entire unit of ammo wasted. Ugh, Malekith is really low on health. Look, if there's only a couple of units with ammo left, our army might actually be able to handle it. Ah, uh, fuck. She's, she's gone. Alright. Malekith, I... If I had to put you there, you would have been safe. Alright. I'm going to keep you there. And, uh, we'll just see. We're going to try to use this as an obstruction. And I'll just... She's dead. Can't do anything about it. 
On to slaughter! Spreading misery! Death awaits! Alright. She did really well, but, you know, she did. I might actually be able to dodge if I use this. Going after Malekith. Um, I hope that wizard's immortal. How did that go? 32 kills. Not amazing. But we're able to use the elevation here to our advantage. That's actually working out reasonably well. Lithanar's only got a few shots left. So just don't bother the wizard. We're really caught between a rock and a hard place here. Ugh. No! Bitch! Stupid boogeyman. As soon as we use breath attack, he dies. How'd we go there? Ah, that went, went really well. Ugh, I mean, misery being spread is mine. Could you just lead the battlefield, Malekith? I don't have the option to withdraw. Oh, shit. We are, really, we are stuck here. This is where we die. We're going to waste their ammo, like loads of it. It's going really well. Our army might be able to push the rest of it. Look, if you're going to route, go, make sure you run off the battlefield so you're not gone for like five turns afterwards. Oh shit, she's nearly fucked. Come on, yeah, leave, that's fine. Did you leave? Did you leave? Eat my bitch tits. Did it cast? It did cast. Did she die? I don't know. I can't check over there anymore. Alright, well, we've done the best we can there. Uh, Malekith did actually get away, so that's great. He's, you know... Well, you know, we'll take a, a leadership penalty, but only for a short time. Yeah, Lord fled recently, so that's good. Alright, um, you know, I really should have organized this a little bit better. And now we've got some time to get set up before they come back. Most of their ammo was spent. Not all of it, though. And Lord Fleeing is a hell of a lot better than Lord Dying. Now we need a checkerboard formation. God, that was stressful. God damn it, man. They'll only have a little bit of ammo left, so let's not worry about, like, don't worry about them too much. Yeah, they're going specifically for the Black Guard and Nagaron should have left them in reserve. I know we're not in range, I just wanted to make sure we're in formation. Because there's no point, like, rushing into combat and then getting obstructed shots. Look, they're trying to get around this way. Yeah, see, look how much damage they're doing to us while we're trying to get in here. But they're almost out of ammo. Is there a chance? I don't know. I don't know.
See, once we get into range with him, we'll shred him. Oh, so much for checkerboard formation. What? <laughs> we inflicted the army loss penalty on them without having to kill many of them at all. Ugh. Ugh, shame about the death hag, but it won us the fucking battle. It's like, how many times do I have to say to people, you don't have to kill your enemy. It's all about inflicting, like, army loss damage. Because they wasted all their ammo. Oh my god. It's actually not really a good victory for us because... Um, we're st you still got to deal with it, but we really didn't take that much damage. I'm pretty sure the wizard got away, and I'm definitely sure that Malekith got away. And I'm definitely certain that she died. Actually, I'm pretty sure she's dead. She got 192 kills, which is good. God damn, wasting the ammo. Fuck me. There's no point. We're never going to catch up to them. They're faster than us. Ugh, I hope she's just wounded. So we'll just find out. Um, and your army will recover a little bit, and he's you know, lost a few of them. But it would have been great if we could have inflicted more casualties on them, for sure. So that army loss penalty actually wasn't a good thing. She was wounded. Okay. Sucks about the death hag. Definitely sucks about her. But she'll live, and your army's still alive, and you, you know, we thwarted him a little bit. And, you know... That was just a fucked situation. We were never going to walk out of that one with that. Well, you know, if the, if the Death Egg could have wasted more of its ammo, and then, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's just, that's a tough situation for sure. Because, like, we would never have won that by standard means. Those, those Shadow Walkers destroy Dark Shards. Yeah, especially without the shields. So yeah, it seems like your campaign's... Uh, it's not going too bad, I mean... That, uh, those armies might suck. Still, basic garrison might be able to handle one army, but probably not two. So it's only a minor settlement. The real problem is definitely, you know, a Lithanar, but also it kind of looks like you're taking, like, Katep's homeland over here. So yeah, you got a little bit of recovery. Definitely sucked about the wizard and the death hag. Um, I mean, I don't know if it was a disciplined one, but you know, did the best I could with that. Probably best you pursue and finish them off. So that actually looks like we did a bit more damage than I maybe initially thought. Because the wizard did do a lot of kills. Lith and I didn't take any damage. Um, you might even be able to order resolver. But anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Doesn't look like it's quite a disaster campaign, so I don't think I need to continue. It was mainly just saving that situation there, which didn't go perfectly, but goddamn, that was going to be virtually impossible to make it go perfect. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.